What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Don't be foolish guy. Alan Squatrio here outside of Man Max Studios in Union City, New Jersey to interview 40 Below Summer. Thank you for taking the time out today. And My pleasure. You're welcome. Thank I, you for coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I've been listening to your latest release album, Fire at Zero Gravity. And I've been having a difficult time trying to figure out which song is my favorite, which is a good problem. That is a good problem. A, a very good problem. Did you guys have a tough time figuring out which song you were going to release first to promote the album? Well, really, we, I don't think we really care about singles or releasing songs or this and that. What gets released is I generally, I guess, chosen by the... Uh, the public. The public. Take me through your practice regimen. Do you ever separate creative writing practices from like set rehearsal type practices? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. When when we have shows booked and, and you know, we have to play shows, we rehearse the set. When yeah, it's, it's more uh, militant. But uh, I smoke uh, weed through all of it. Right. <laughs> to reach for the sun and only find the bottom wrong is a great line, great lyric. Thank from you. the bottom theater. I'm a big lyric fan. I tried to delve into your lyrics as much as I could to find uh, some sort of theme, and I've I've come up with a couple from what I've read from uh, Fire at Zero Shoot. Gravity. So Shoot. Yeah, correct me or or uh, add to it if I'm right. Okay, so I have one. Stay optimistic. Two, be true to yourself as an individual. Three, fighting against an existence that caters to a very small percentage of the world, perhaps the embracive and powerful. You're you're pretty close there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially with number three. <laughs> Absolutely, with number Good. three. That's definitely. I'm gonna be working on my reading. And, and well, and people want to know there's of course the anti-religion theme, which is very big in, in in my lyrics. Religion is a big part of this world, and 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 it dominates and destroys. You know it. You know it. I'm glad you said that and said that it's whatever you want it to be. Obviously, it is. Religion like, is as big as religion is as big as government, and and it dominates and destroys. You were on tour, the Jägermeister tour, mm -hmm. early in your career. The first with ever with Jägermeister tour. Not fear no, 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 no. That was the second. That was the third Jägermeister. The first we did, Jägermeister we didn't do that tour ever. Tour either. No. What was? What was the it? first Jägermeister tour ever was Forty Below Summer, El Nino, Cold Chamber, and Drowning Pool. What was that experience like? Drunk, amazing. amazing. A drunk as fuck, and but amazing. It was a great experience. Forty Below Summer has come a long way. There's been some moving pieces. You guys disestablished in 2005, and you reunited twice. What makes this? experience unique opposed to the past ex reunion if you will with newly acquired members uh divisio and dynamic d previous reunions were a little lax just kind of let's go out and have some fun play some shows this this time around was much more serious yeah, so come in and you know learn the new material and love it even more than you know the previous material and then get to play that stuff too and then you know get it ready for the, the stage was just an amazing experience like, you, you always you know hope for the total package when you're going to get involved in a situation with anybody and you know liking the material is half of it and then the other half or more than half or 75 percent is having good people and being able to get along you know being close quarters being stuck in a van splitting driving sharing hotel rooms and not step on toes and uh we've not they are that's, right. that's what it's all about nice what would you tell aspiring artists about the music business this day or anything influential um, worth telling them with all of your experience to do as much on your own as you yeah. can without anybody's help i would say that. write record and play what you want to play and if you fail you can always start over if any of you had the chance to be millionaires, but you had to be credited for What Did the Fox Say by Elvis, would you take that on? In a heartbeat. <laughs> Anything by In Elvis. a heartbeat. That hits a hit. I'd wear any kind of Elvis jumpsuit that they had. <clears throat> Make a stupid video. Make lots of money and get home, and get to sit home and play what you want to play mm -hmm. any day of the week. That is... In my opinion, terrible, corny song has 232 million hits on YouTube, which I found out they made $276,000 off of that. 
wow. video alone off of YouTube. I thought that was incredible, but I like the honesty. Thank you. Absolutely. Perhaps before I go, you could play one of my favorite songs from Fire at Zero Gravity. Uh, we, we could play your song. We haven't played any I, w- I would love these songs. Song. In, Let's uh, get a song from 40 Below Summer at Matt Sam Peter. Studios Fuck. in Union City. To see the full, unedited version of this interview, email me at alansquat at gmail.com or message 40 Below Summer on their Facebook page. Thanks for watching.